How's it going boys? Pam back in our video. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I am and as I always say in all my videos, thank you for all the love and support you guys have been giving me on the YouTube channel. It has been growing tremendously fast and if you guys like TBC as much as I do, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys are up to date with all the current you know TBC content that I have to offer. A lot of the videos that I do are very controversial. You know, I, I love getting your guys' inputs, right? My last video was will there be class and faction imbalance in TBC? Very questionable video, right? Very, you know, I love getting your guys' opinions your guys' thoughts so um this video is a little bit different i will be showing you the, the fastest and most efficient way to get your scenarian war hippogriff and classic tbc very badass mount this is definitely one of the mounts that i will go for as soon as i hit revered and and, and i'm able to do heroics for the scenarian expedition but right before we get into the video um, i just want to cover a couple things but if you guys don't know the endless private server pve scene is coming to an end and shortly karazan is coming to an end as well so what is that where does that leave you guys right all the people that want to play tbc all the people that want to be prepared if you guys watched my previous video um i cover things you can do to prepare for tbc practice you know get a route right you know get a character get used to your, your fucking class priest drew whatever it is get used to it being a priest man myself i've been playing priest since 2007 i love the class and uh you know being able to play on these private servers really uh gives me a route and like like i need to get tailored yeah you know it gives you a route that's basically what it is in a plan and if you are prepared you know you'll be good to go so endless is coming out with a new pve server um not really a new server for say you know but uh more of a refresh um the, the pve scene of endless is coming to a close as all the content has been released uh so panda when is this going to come out well this post that uh, that they came out with was around uh the end of last month and they stated um how uh the middle of this month the the new server will be released right they said they're going to release it the middle of this month but blizzcon being on the 25th um by the way by the way blizzcon um click the link down in the description subscribe join the fucking panda squad boys on the 25th we will be watching blizzcon live on my twitch so stay tuned if i want to i would love to get all of your guys reactions i'll be live on youtube and twitch twitch.tv forward slash pandorama link down in the description make sure you join but back to the endless tbc server so um it's either going to be on the 25th or i would say like the 15th of this month is when the new pve server i do highly recommend all of you guys playing on it um just so you guys are prepared right just so you guys know the route you're familiar with everything the server is overtuned which is not not, not drastically overtuned but it's the you know the numbers are a lot higher than than you know back and back in vanilla but i do believe each and every one of you guys should play on the play on this just so you guys are aware and you guys know what's going on me chris and cargos and uh, winky um all of us most likely are going to make a guild on this new pve server um just so you know we, we can show you guys you know the, the the new content that's to come obviously a lot of you guys are probably very smart or if you got or if you know you guys have been playing this game for as long as i have the content's fucking easy and you probably did this back in the day but it's always good to refresh your mind so um enough of that i just want to let you guys know the new news in the community and like what's going on so uh enough of that let's get right onto the video how you can get your hippogriff in the fastest and most efficient way to get it so before we get right into this, um, this is going to be a very informative guide, um, very detailed. You know, I want you guys to know fucking everything so you guys are prepared. So you're going to need around 42,000 rep um, to get to Exalted, right? Um, there's there's a lot of ways to make this grind a lot more cancer than it really is. Um, one of the ways, the Qualifying Ornaments, it, it's a BOP item. It's on the screen right there. You move your eyes up like, like one degree and look at it, right? Those items right there, they're BOP, which means bind on pickup, which means, yes, Panda, that could be fucking purchase from an auction house these will save your life and save you some fucking time dude it's not as hard you know it's not as hard as, as the drakes or anything like that because at least you have a way to purchase and make it a little bit easier for you but uh panda how do i how do i go about getting these felt ornaments um by doing any kind of normal or uh you know heroic version of slave pens steam vault or under bog any of those um you're gonna want to collect these but but note this if you guys are taking notes note this you need to save, if you're going for Exalted, obviously you already get the mount. Save these Coil Fate ornaments until you're at Revered. But Panda, why? It's because once you've done all of the quests in this zone, uh, you should be around like 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 close to being revered or at revered. And uh, even even if you you know you're at revered, right? You still have quests to do because you know you did your heroics and everything. Um, I'm pretty sure they give you a decreased amount, or if not, you don't get any rep from doing quests anymore. So that's why they save to revered. So basically, if you want to start your journey, you're gonna save all of your ornaments until you hit revered. Then turn them as much as you can in. And if you have a little bit left, you're just gonna do heroics. Speaking of heroics, um. 
um, again, every single day, you're going to want to be doing your Slave Pen, Steam Vault, and Underbog Heroics. Again, in order to do Heroics or any of these dungeons, you need to hit Revered. You need to hit Revered with the Scenarian Expedition in order to get your key so you can start doing Heroics. Again, the only cancer part of this grind is up to Revered. Once you hit Revered, you can turn in your Coil of Fate Ornaments and you can go ahead and start doing the Heroics, which again, give you more reputation because they're Heroics, right? Good thing you asked, because I have a link down in the description that shows you how to get the fastest rep for every faction that's needed in TBC. Make sure you guys click that link down in the description. That video will actually show you the quickest way to get rep for every needed faction. But uh, I know you guys don't want to watch another video. That's why you're here. So basically what you should do is you should be doing all of the dungeons on normal. Yes, you can spam them. And yes, I, I for any of the comments, fucking say it. I know there's a fucking Blizzard ad added a dungeon limit, right? But um, 20 dungeons a day, you know, you can knock those out you'll be good to go right the way i would go about knocking them out though is either getting a getting a melee cleave group or you know a caster cleave group get get your and get your ellie shamans get your warlocks right get your mages and then just have your have your bear tank right or whatever it may be right the best way you can go about from going from nothing to revered is doing all the quests in the zone and doing as many normal dungeons Again, Slave Pens, Steam Vault, and Underbog. Do all of those on normal difficulty as much as you can. Again, if you have the fucking money, which a lot of you fucking investors, you know, a lot of the classic WoW people have like, a fuck ton of gold, um, you can just buy all, all, all of the fucking Coil Fang ornaments. Again, I don't believe that there will be a lot of these on the market. And if there are going to be a lot of these on the market, they're going to be fucking, the prices are going to be jacked. Just because, again, people would rather sit in front of a dungeon, have somebody level boost them, or reputation boost them, right? That's what people would rather do, right? But again, you're going to need 42,000 XP. You're going to need to be doing all of your normal, uh, you're going to do all the quests. You're going to need to be doing all of your normal dungeons, Slave Pens, Steam Vault, Underbog. You're going to need to do all of those. And then that should, once you hit revered, then you can start turning in all of your uh, coil faint ornaments uh, once you hit revered. Um, and then you can start doing your heroics, which will give you more rep and you can progressively get uh, like higher and higher all the way until you get exalted and you are able to get your mount. Also, when you go into a dungeon, make sure you grab the quest at the front of the dungeon. Again, that's more rep. There's also a place in Blade, Blade Edge Mountains I'll show right here. Um, the Thunderlord Stronghold, there are a couple quests here that give you rep if you're really starving for rep. There's a couple quests here that'll give you rep. And congratulations, you just got your you just got your hippogriff, dude. That easy, that easy. All you had to do was you know just just, just spend some time, spend some time, and spend some money, right? Um, I, that's basically everything I have I have done to get mine, and everything that I I have you know researched and found what to do. Again, I just want to reiterate it one more time before we finish the video. Um, you want to do every single quest in the zone. And, uh, start, and you want to do as many fucking normal dungeons as you can. And again, accept the, the, the starting, you know, the starting quest in the, in the front of the dungeon. Do as many normal as you can. I recommend you do uh, melee cleave or caster cleave, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you like to do, whatever your class is. Do that all the way to revered. Again, once you hit revered, save up all your, co your coil of fang ornaments, turn those in, and then just start doing heroics. Once you get revered, you're going to be able to get your key and you can start grinding up higher and higher and higher until you get exalted and you get your, and you get your uh, hippogriff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video again make sure you click the link down in the description um we will be watching blizzcon don't forget about that we'll be watching blizzcon together i i didn't want this video to be too long this is actually a pretty easy and very linear you know mount to get uh you know and uh if, if you guys have any questions any questions at all leave a comment down in the description join my discord it's it's down there in the description as well i love each and every one of you and hope you guys are just staying safe during these crazy times right also stay tuned because next we will be covering how to get yourself your very own Man Array. We'll be covering that next. I'm going to be covering all of the mounts of TBC in the fastest way and most efficient way to get them. Man Array is also one of my favorites. It's a very unique mount. Um, it, it's super cool. Not as cool as the Hippogriff in my opinion, but uh, I think I, I think they're both really, really cool. So if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I love each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.